Israel and nearly 200 other countries are gearing up right now for this autumn's Expo Dubai 2020. It will be happening following a full year of COVID delays. Many countries can focus on different aspects of life and culture in their pavilions. Israel's pavilion at this event will be focusing on sustainability and the environment and how this new flourishing Israel-UAE partnership and peace will help achieve new ground when it comes to these issues. Israel's exhibitions will be showcasing the country's innovations in agriculture, water, medicine, cyber tech, and much more under the banner theme, Israel Connecting a Journey for Tomorrow. Talk, to talk to me more about these topics is Asher Fredman, the CEO of Gulf Israel Green Ventures and a founding member of the Israel UAE Business Israel Emirati Forum. Thank you so much, Asha, for being with us here in the studio. I want to ask first about sustainability, if I can. This is one of the central themes for the uh, pavilion. What does that mean, sustainability? And what kind of technologies or businesses will the pavilion be able to focus on during the run of the expo? So let's look at the context. What is sustainability is one of the main topics of the expo in general. The expo will be opening a month before the UN conference on climate change. We know that the US, the EU, and the UAE as well are planning to invest hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars, into this field of sustainability. Now, the UAE has set very ambitious goals for reducing its energy use, for being more efficient in its water reuse, water recycling, urban agriculture. We saw the Minister of Food and Water Security was here just this week for the opening of the embassy. So this is a topic that is extremely important for the UAE and for the entire world as well. The, especially here in the Middle East with countries like the UAE and Israel, talk to me more about agriculture and water resources. How important the, the idea of sustainability is in these fields when we're dealing with a desert climate. Absolutely. So we're dealing we're in a very water scarce environment, and Israel is a world leader in water reuse. We recycle 80%, 87% of our water. I think the U.S. is about seven or eight percent. Um, and in terms of technology, in terms of innovation, precision uh, irrigation, water recycling, managing the whole process, um, we are one of the leading countries. And certainly, the countries of the, re the region, the UAE, Bahrain, others as well, are very interested in learning um, from our experience and our innovation. We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars in. Uh uh, ideas and partnerships over the next few years between Israel and the UAE on sustainability and mobility. Are there companies already now working together in Israel and the UAE on these issues? Are there new partnerships being formed even as we speak uh, that will address these very important pressing topics? The Emirati leadership um, took a visionary decision about 15 years ago that they were going to transform the country into a model of sustainability and green technology. And because of that, that decision of the leadership has trickled down to the private sector. And there's a lot of interest in, um, in what Israel has to offer in these areas. We've seen um, me and one of my partners, uh, His Excellency Omar al Sawedi, sign the first MOU in order to establish green tech cooperation. Already companies are talking, whether it's in the field of energy efficient buildings, whether it's in the field of water recycling, whether it's in the field of low emissions mobility solutions. Already we've been seeing some very exciting uh, green construction, some very exciting cooperation between the UAE and Israel. Expo Dubai you know, 2020, yes, it's happening in, in 2021, but like so many other events and around the world, they, they still hold on to the 2020 moniker. But this is the first expo. Uh, since the Abraham Accords was brokered 11 months ago, you, what does it mean for you just personally that you're able to uh, have this dialogue, this connection, this partnership with partners in the Emirates and to have this kind of camaraderie uh, you know, now. Are you excited for this? What does it mean that you're gonna be there and be able to get this off the ground? It is incredibly exciting. And let's remember also, Israel was invited to the Expo even before the Abraham Accords. Yeah. And that's a result of the UAE's general ethos of tolerance and multiculturalism and embracing different people. Because of the Abraham Accords, now it's able to be out in the open. So still, when I'm talking to my partners about different projects in the field of green tech, things that we may want to do together around the Expo, 
it's almost feels natural, but it's still very, very exciting. And the opportunity, not just, of course, to work with our Emirati partners, but with all the nations, especially from the Middle East, who will be present at the expo. And we're talking uh, nearly 200 countries, each with their own ideas for innovation and development. Talk to me about uh, the Gulf Israel Green Ventures. What You're the CEO now of this. Tell me more about what projects excite you and how really the expo is a great way to highlight them. Absolutely. So, for example, um, all countries, one of the big sources of emissions and uh, environmental damage is building, right? But both UAE and Israel, as well as Bahrain and Qatar and Oman and Saudi Arabia, are focused now on building new projects, building ambitious. Now, the question is how do you do that sustainably? Yeah. There's been very interesting advances um, in the UAE, in Israel, in sustainable building, uh, green materials. And this is a great opportunity to bring Israeli experts, Emirati entrepreneurs, big companies from both sides together to think how, we, how is the next big revolution in green construction going to happen based in a partnership between the UAE and in Israel. So that's one of the things, for example, when we're in Dubai, when we're at the expo, that we hope to advance with our partners there. How excited are you for this to happen? I mean, we're really just a few uh, weeks away from, from the pavilions being constructed and, and, and up and running in Dubai. How excited are you for this to happen? Extremely excited. I think it's going to be an incredible event. What they've built there in the expo, in the pavilion, in the entire area, is truly incredible. Some of the buildings there, some of the infrastructure they've built there. It's like a city itself. It's a city, and it's a city that's going to continue also after the expo as well. Um, I think it's going to be an incredible international gathering, really showcasing everything that the UAE has to offer to the world, the um, culture of tolerance and innovation, which the UAE and its leadership have been promoting. And it'll be a wonderful place you know, for Israel, for example, to also talk to other countries in the region, countries that we don't have relationships yet, but that are extremely interested in innovation, in sustainability. Saudi Arabia comes to mind, but it could be others as well, and it'll just be an incredible opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. Asher, thank you so much for being with us on I-24 News. Great to have you. Thank you so much, and I want to wish all of our uh, viewers in the UAE an Eid Mubarak, and thank you very much.